And so did you. You broke through the front door. Officer. The man called the police on her. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They consider this a landlord-tenant issue. And by law, it has to be handled through the housing court, not with police. If you own this house, you would not want I her inside. I don't own this house. I don't own this house. Exactly, yes. she does. Yes, but then once again, you should know how the law works. I and do know how it there's, works. There's rules to the as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, a, for being in my house, man. For being in my own home. And, it's not, it's not and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current is and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great wonderful day. And um, apparently in New York City, you can have your home stolen from you. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not crazy. You know, a group of people can in New York City can enter your home and uh, say it's theirs, and you can't do nothing about it. They can just steal your home. And by the way, if they, if you try to combat them and say it's not your, it's not their home, you will get arrested. So, um, in New York City, your home does not belong to you. Um, uh, your home is forfeit, and uh, you don't own anything. So, and if you try to fight back, you'll get arrested. Yeah, that, that's 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 the ability and the want of New York City. Or New York in general. You have no rights. You can go and just steal your home. So, that's great. So, what we have here, my friends, is that a New York City homeowner is arrested for changing the locks of her home to kick out squatters who broke in. In New York, people illegally living in your property automatically become the legal tenants for after 30 days. NYPD police arrested Adele Adelaro uh, for unlawful eviction of a tenant. And... As I shown in the video there, that's that's what happened. So I'll show you the full context of the video. And uh, yeah, it's not great. I have video of you. Who are these people? Who are these people? Out the situation. Yeah, but they're in my house, man. Relax. No, 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 no. This to understand how this day ended. We need the police right away. With multiple 911 calls and arrests. We have to start at the beginning. Adele, the hardest question is how do you say your name? We met Adele and Deloro outside the home her parents left her in Flushing, Queens. She's in the process of selling it. No, he locked it. But she's been locked out. She claims squatters moved in on February 6 and refused to leave. What's it like being here knowing you can't go inside of your own home? It's enraging. It really is. In New York, squatters have rights after 30 days. By the time that someone does their investigation and they do their work and their job, will be well over the 30 days, and this man will have stolen my home. And now she's back. Just after wrapping up our interview, a woman showed up. What are you doing in the house? Are you renting this house? Why are you here? She unlocked the front door, saw our cameras, and took off. It's open. Let's go in the house. It's open. Adele and her daughter, with the property deed in hand, went inside. This is my furniture. These are my curtains. She didn't just find her belongings inside. There's a man sleeping right there. Get out of my house. She found two men. How long have you lived here? I moved here about two days ago. They've called the police on me, and I've called the locksmiths. I didn't come in illegally. The door was open. Police started interviewing neighbors and looking for documents. Do you have something that shows that you've been here for more than 30 days? They took the man who told me he had been renting for two days out in handcuffs. They got one out. And escorted the other guy off the property. Now you're afraid to come out. I'm not coming out. This house is empty. This is my home. My locksmith is on the corner waiting to change my locks. And that's not fair. It's not fair that I as the homeowner should be having to go through this. How are you doing? Minutes later, a locksmith showed up. But police gave her a warning before they left. I may end up in handcuffs today if this man shows up here and says that I have illegally evicted him. I said to them, let him take me to court the way I've been told to take him to court. But today, I'm not leaving my house. Less than 10 minutes after police left and the locks were chained. The man who claims to be the one actually leasing the house shows up. Call the police again. With the other guy, police took off the property. Do you see this? This guy just literally broke down my door, broke through myself and my daughter to get in here. This guy just forced himself into my house. No, he did not. Yes, he did. No, he did. And he so did call. you. You broke through the front door. Officer. The man called the police on her. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They consider this a landlord-tenant issue. And by law, it has to be handled through the housing court, not with police. If you own this house, you would not want I her inside. Own the house. I don't own this house. Exactly, yes. she does. Yes, but then once again, you should know how the law works. 
I do know how it there's, works. There's rules to the as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. He says he signed a lease in October, but wouldn't tell us with who. I got proof longer than that. Show us the proof. But who are you for me to show? I showed it to cops. Dan with Channel 7 News. If you don't want to show it, you I'll don't want to show, show it. Pool. Come here, brother. I like that. I, I, would, I would like to see it. He didn't show me a lease. This, this is, is a bill. Is a bill for work he says he had done to the house. He didn't show police a lease either. The police department doesn't have the lease? No. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, a for being in house, my man. For being in my own home. And, not, and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Right. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. So how does this all end then? When do you leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money and I'll leave, or send me to court and we deal with the judge in court. It's that simple. So as I said, you are not allowed to be have your own home. People can just break into your home, claim it's theirs, and if you don't have the ability to come for any documents or what have you, you have to be kicked out. So that's just the reality of it is. So put it this in perspective, guys. Say, for instance, I left my home onto vacation for X period of days, you know, maybe for a week. Somebody comes into my home, claims it's theirs. I don't have access to my own home. Because according to New York, that's not where this not doesn't belong to you anymore. You have to go to court for it. So that means my home that I own is no longer mine. I had to go fight for my own home because I was gone for a week on vacation or something. That's the ludicrous and insanity of New York. That, 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 that that's what it is. So be, let it be known, guys, that if you are in New York. Your house is forfeit. You do not own your house. People can come into your house whenever they want and come and, and just claim it's theirs and then you will lose your house. Because New York defends criminals, defends people taking your stuff, and they will not defend you. That is straight. That is fact. And if you want, and if you woke revolutionaries want to tell you, well, it's a, no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You just seen here, if you actually watched the full video of some guy coming into her house, she actually has documents, which you've seen right here. I'll show it to you. She has actual documents right here showing she owns the house. And these people came in randomly with nothing saying that they did not own the house. So they were able to steal her home. And she was arrested. This is completely asinine. Just leave New York, guys. Leave New York. Don't go there. Just stay away from it. It is a it is a draconian hellhole. Stay away. Go away. Just leave. I'm, I'm, it's hilarious that anybody lives there. It's, it's astounding to me. Maybe this is what woman will learn to leave because that's what I would do. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease. This social media.